So yet again, we'll take it one more step further. Some medications are ordered in micrograms per kilogram per minute. So now we have to convert from milligrams to micrograms, and we also have to change from hours to minutes. So this requires a few extra steps. Again, we'll solve it stepwise, and then we'll do it as one equation. So let's start with steps. So our healthcare providers ordered propofol to be administered at five mics per kilo per minute. Our patient weighs 143 pounds. The pharmacy sends the medication labeled as 1,000 milligrams and 100 mLs, and we want to know how many mLs per hour are we going to set our pump. So as always, let's start with converting our patient's weight. So they weigh 143 pounds. We divide this by 2.2, and that ends up with 65 kilograms. Okay? Our second step, much like our last problem, is our dosage is going to be 5 mics for every kilo. So let's figure out what dosage we're aiming for. So we take our patient's weight, 65 kilograms, multiplied times our five, because our order is five mics for every kilo, times five micrograms. This equals 325 micrograms. And in this case, this is per minute, right? Because our, our order is for every minute, not every hour. Now third, we need to convert this and see how many mLs per hour equate to this dosage. A little tricky, but we'll, we'll walk through it. So for step three, let's start with what we know. We know that our dosage is 325 mics per minute. And we're giving this over one minute. Our medication comes in, or our medication comes in milligrams, so we need to convert from mics to milligrams. There's 1,000 micrograms and one milligram. Our medication comes in 1,000 milligrams per 100 mLs. So let's take a pause there. Our mics cancel out, our milligrams cancel out, and we're already at mLs. So now we just need to convert from minutes to hours. So in order for it to be canceled out, it has to be on the opposite, so from the bottom. So there's 60 minutes in one hour. This cancels these two out, and we're left with mLs per hour. Now when we solve this, we wind up getting 1.95 mLs per hour. This would more than likely be rounded to two because we don't want to do anything less than the tenths place. Now here it is in stepwise. Now again, we can do this in one solid equation. It can get a little bit confusing. So my biggest word of advice, if you decide to do it in one big equation, is to keep track of your units. That way you know you're not gonna lose anything. So let's start with what we know. We have an order for five mics per kilo per minute. So we're gonna get five micrograms. And we're gonna be giving this over a minute now this isn't considering the patient's weight, but we will get there in just a moment. So again, we need to convert to milligrams so that we can use the medication that was given to us. So there's 1,000 micrograms and one milligram. Our medication comes 1,000 milligrams and 100 mLs. And right here again, pause, mics cancel out, milligrams cancel out, and we're left with our mLs. Now we need to consider this is for our patient's weight. So let's go ahead and do that conversion as well. So we know that they weigh 143 pounds. And we know that there are 2.2 pounds for one kilogram. Our pounds cancel out and we're left with kilograms. And then our last step we're still in minutes over here. Our minutes have not been canceled out, right? So we still need to cancel that. So there's 60 minutes in one hour. Now you'll notice that our kilograms don't cancel out and that's okay because in this regard, we still need to consider this is still a necessary step, step to make sure we have the appropriate dosage. Now, when you do this math, you end up with the same thing, 1.95 mLs hour. Now another word of caution whenever you're doing a big equation like this, 
these numbers that you wind up working with end up being very large. And I would be careful to make sure that if you're using your calculator, you're not missing a zero here or there because that can cause some mistakes. I prefer to do it in the stepwise way because I can keep it straight and I can work with smaller numbers. But if this makes more sense to you guys, then by all means, just be careful of your units and the size of your numbers.